everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post a new doll related video almost every single day. And in today's video, we are going to be doing an Entertainment Earth haul. So if you don't know, I am an affiliate with Entertainment Earth. Every month they send me a certain amount of affiliate credit to pick some stuff out to share with you guys. And these were my picks this month. So um, I'm really excited to share these with you. I like to go kind of across the website and show you different things that they have available. Also, I need to disclaim that everything's already been taken out of the shipper boxes because I already filmed this video, but it was having audio issues. So I apologize about that. But um, Entertainment Earth is trying to have more of a presence in dolls and doll related toys. So they are upping the amount of stuff that they have. And um, I found some really cool stuff that they did not have before, or at least that I didn't notice they had before. So join me as we go through my Entertainment Earth haul. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is one of the things that I was really excited to see because I believe they did not have these before. This is a Bondi style doll. So this is, I believe her name is Mitsuri from, and I'm not pronouncing that correctly, from Demon Slayer. I have not seen this show. I bought this one because I was working on the Dalect page about Bondi style dolls and if you don't know what Dalect is, it's an interactive doll database that I founded and it's fully volunteer run, 100% free and ad free. Um, it's my gift to the doll community. And um, so, and then I was asked to pick stuff out for this month on Entertainment Earth and I saw a Bondi style doll and I was very surprised not only to see a Bondi style doll, because these are Japanese dolls released in Japan, they generally aren't distributed here, but this doll was actually $34.99, which compared to US dolls, that's a lot, but in Japan, that's actually really close to the retail price, considering the Japanese yen, um, like, uh, instability. It's kind of hard to say what the true, like, exchange would have been, what the retail would be over here, but generally they are, like, 4,400 Japanese yen, which roughly normally would translate to around, like, $44, but right now it's lower. But anyway, I was really surprised about the price. I was really excited to see this product, so... I wanted to be able to share it with you guys. So she will be getting her own review. Well, she'll be in a review with some other dolls as well that I did not get from Entertainment Earth. But yeah, I was super excited about her. So if you guys happen to be a fan of this anime or if you just think the dolls are cute, they have a bunch of them available. And yeah, so that's Mitsuri. <laughs> and then, okay, never thought I'd be saying this. Today, I will be showing you a pop vinyl that I picked out. Um... <laughs> You might know that I'm a uh, outspoken, not a big fan of uh, pop vinyls in general um, and what they represent, but um, I don't have anything against pop vinyl collectors. It's fine. Um, but the reason I don't really like pop vinyls is because I think they're very, they're not very creative generally. They don't really have a whole lot going on. And the ones that are super creative are very few and far between. I have two in my collection. Both of them were gifted to me in some way. Uh, I guess this one would also have been gifted, but I picked this one out. It wasn't kind of just a random gift but anyway this is the i already opened it but this is the mothra king of the monsters one every time i do one of these hauls i try to pick out something from the not mint section so entertainment earth has this mint condition guarantee thing they take packaging stuff to send it to you very seriously and they take the condition before they even ship it very seriously so if something arrives not perfect or if something happens to it in the warehouse they list it as a not mint item and they do a pretty big price cut i don't know what pop vinyls actually retail for because i don't pay attention to them i think they retail for 14.99 or something but anyway this was 10.49 so that's a pretty huge discount off of a brand new product that had just come off pre-order in fact i think i got this before the pre-order um like the pre-order items actually shipped um so pretty cool and this was i already opened it because this is the second time i filmed this but this was what was considered not mint here. So this is something that I could see a lot of retailers just kind of trying to straighten out and shipping it and hoping the customer doesn't care. Um, but Entertainment Earth takes it very seriously. Sometimes when I order a not mint item, it comes and I'm like, I can't figure out why you guys said this wasn't mint. Um, by the way, if you don't know what mint means, I, it has come to my attention that a lot of doll collectors don't know what it means. In most collector spaces, it used to be a thing in doll spaces, but maybe it's not anymore. Uh, mint just means good condition, essentially. So especially in terms of packaging, mint condition would be like basically pristine condition of like that clothing. Like I, I commented under somebody's Twitter post like, oh my gosh, that is so minty. And I was, I was referring to like, it's in really good condition. And they were so confused. They were like, from My Little Pony? Like, what are you talking about? So that's what it means. <laughs> it means good condition. Um... But yeah, I really, really love Mothra's design from King of the Monsters. I love this series. And as far as pop finals go, I can tolerate this one. This one's all right. So um, this 
my new mantra will go on display in my Godzilla section. Oh, and the weird colorway is because this is glow in the dark, by the way. And this was an Entertainment Earth exclusive item, so um, I don't really know how pop vinyls work, but it's an exclusive, so yeah, that's cool. All right, the next thing, I was really excited about this actually because, uh, again, I'm trying to show things from across the site, not just the dolls, because they have a lot of really cool dolls, but it's a lot that are already in my collection or that aren't, or ones that aren't super um, of interest to me. So I like to show stuff from all across the site, and I have been paying more attention to the anime products that they have available. I generally order stuff from overseas when I'm buying Japanese products, but that means I have to wait a long time. International shipping is always stressful and expensive, and being able to buy something directly from a U.S. business and have it shipped to me in the U.S. and not have to deal with all that is actually quite nice, and I know a lot of people are really afraid of international shipping and dealing with that kind of stuff, which I totally understand. It took me until, like, five years into collecting to get comfortable and start shopping overseas and it wasn't until like seven years in that I fully started doing it so I totally understand um and that's again why this was so exciting because especially dolls from overseas very unusual to be able to get over here they don't really get imported like you'll see nendroids and figmas and figure arts those are pretty popular so they get imported regularly but certain things just don't and you have to import them yourself, which is very stressful. So anyway, I found this product from Good Smile, who are the people who make um, Nendoroids and Figmas, actually. Um, and this is Good Smile Hello, or Hello Good Smile. I guess it's Hello Good Smile. And this is a Pearl Magi Monica Magica product, and that's my favorite anime of all time. And I thought this was just such a cute little figure, so look at this. So this is Sayaka, and I don't really have a lot of merchandise of Sayaka in general, but she has one of the better designs, in my opinion. She's not my favorite character, but she has a really cool design. And this is just a really cute little figure. I really like the art style of these, and there were some anime that don't really get merch anymore represented, like Kill a Kill was there um, in Gawk and Entertainment Earth. I just picked out Sayaka. I don't know. She spoke to me. And look how cute she is. And it looks like they can only bob their little heads, but she's super 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 cute and it says she came with a stand so I think that must be in here and I didn't notice it earlier so thank goodness because I was like how am I gonna stand this all up so I just pick her up but yeah just a really cute precious little angel figure and this was $11.99 which I think was the retail price on Entertainment Earth there were a bunch of these on like clearance but for some reason I didn't order them and I ordered this one so uh, anyway also, make sure you check the clearance because stuff like this that people aren't really shopping for on Entertainment Earth or like dolls often will go on clearance because people just don't know Entertainment Earth has them. So you can get some really good deals on some really cool stuff sometimes. Um, I'm always watching it, but generally I miss out. So it's fine. All right. This next thing is probably the cheapest thing I will ever buy on Entertainment Earth. I couldn't believe how cheap this was. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. And when I bought it, it was the only thing that was still in stock for the Barbie movie. It is this little hot Barbie Hot Wheels. I wanted this, but I couldn't really find it in stores. I wasn't sure where to get it. I thought it was super cute. And I specifically have a pink themed series of shelves next to my desk in my office. And I wanted the Barbie car for it. And this is the perfect size. And in my experience, Hot Wheels are really good quality, but I haven't had Hot Wheels since I was five. So I don't know. But playing with my brother's Hot Wheels, they were fantastic. We had the little like... I don't know what it was, but it was like a corkscrew road. You could put them all down. I think we had like a parking garage. It was great. I don't have that anymore, but I do have this Barbie car Hot Wheels, and I think it's pretty cool. And it's it's a collaboration, right? No. I, would this be a crossover? Because Hot Wheels is also Mattel. So, I don't know. But super cute product. Could not believe it was $2, especially because aren't these metal? Maybe they're not anymore. We will see. Um, I might show this in an unboxing, but if not, you'll probably just see it in like a dollar update someday. Because um, like, if I unbox it, I'm gonna be like, that's a car, all right. That is a car. Thanks for watching. <laughs> um, okay. This next thing is what I'm most excited about, and it is what we've been waiting for for this video. So this doll, for some reason, went up for pre-order first on Target.com, despite being an Entertainment Earth exclusive. So I ordered her on Target and didn't think much of it because she went in stock on there first, and I was scared I would miss out on Entertainment Earth. Luckily, the pre-order for her still stayed up for a long time, so when Target canceled my order, I had already ordered this doll because I had lost faith in Target. I was, like, really nervous. So I managed to get her. The reason she's a little bit later than a lot of other people's is because I ordered her a bit later. Anyway, it is the Fancy Laguna doll, and I want to insert a clip from the messed up audio thing because I thought it was really cute when I got to reveal the doll, so I'm going to put that in here. Now. Um, 
So I've been really hoping to see collector dolls from Gen 3, so this is a really exciting one to see. And our first one was Laguna! So here is fancy Laguna, and wow, she looks good in person. Anyways, I was so impressed with the fancy Laguna doll, um, like an hour ago when I filmed that last part. Um, but look at her. I am so excited. So I'll be doing a review of her either today or, to or tomorrow or the next day. Today when you see this video. I don't know. Um, it'll be the next video or the video after the next video that goes up um, because I am so excited about her. I think she looks gorgeous and it's been really frustrating as somebody who really likes Monster High Generation 1 and Monster High Generation 3. I want to see more playline stuff from Generation 1 and I want to see collector stuff from Generation 3 and um, after the real drama and the creep productions we haven't really been seeing playline stuff from Gen 1 and then with Gen 3 we haven't been seeing collector stuff which is very frustrating because I think the designers for Generation 3 I know a lot of them overlap with Gen 1 but I think they are really really strong designers and probably have a lot of excellent ideas but they just aren't doing collector dolls and I find it interesting that one of the first exclusives they've done has been through Entertainment Earth um that's very very interesting like um and this is like the first generation three collector doll and i think they did a really good job although i will say that if i never see another mermaid dress again it will be like the best life like i i'm over it i'm so fed up with the mermaid dresses but this one is very pretty it's just we could have seen another silhouette please lagoon is a sea monster i get it but come on come on but anyway this dress is actually really, really nice. I was a bit nervous from the stock photos. Like, I knew I liked the doll, but I wasn't sure if I liked her $40 worth. Uh, and I won't know that until I unbox her and really, like, get into it and see what all the details are and stuff. But I have to say I'm very impressed. I'm much more impressed with her in person than in the stock photos. And she is in stock on Entertainment Earth. So if you are interested in her, you can use my code and you get um, a certain percentage off and everything. I put it in the description just in case it changes because I don't want to, like, say it in a video and then some weird stuff happens and, you know. So in the description of this video, there will be more information about that. With in-stock products, you get a percentage off and you can get free shipping. So it's much better to order stuff in stock if you can. Sometimes stuff sells out on pre-order and you obviously don't want to miss out. But in this case, it worked out. So you can get your discount and everything. But yeah, she's really cool. I also really like this packaging. So I really hope we see more Generation 3 collector dolls. And I think it's really interesting that she went up on Entertainment Earth. So not only went up on Entertainment Earth, it was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. And um, she retailed for $39.99, but you just might be able to get her cheaper. All right, next, this, I don't, <laughs> this was one of the things I was the most excited about. And I first tried to order this, I think last year, but it kept going like in and out of back order and stuff. So I ended up canceling my order because I was like, I don't think this is ever coming. Um, but then I saw it come back in stock and I was like, so I ordered it and it came. I'm so happy. Hopefully this is still in stock because this is so cool. So this is the Barbie lounge accessory pack. This retailed for $5.99 on Entertainment Earth. And I need, I need Mattel to put stuff like this in stores. The fact that I don't know this stuff exists until I find it on Enter Entertainment Earth is so funny. And I found so many cool Barbie products that I would be like raving about. Like, I would be so excited to see them in stores, but you just don't see them in stores. You don't, I don't really see them on Amazon and stuff. Um, and there's some really cool stuff coming out with Modern Barbie that just nobody really hears about. So this is one of those things. And I know you're probably like, Brooke, that is a tiny box with a, like a bunch of random accessories. And I'm like, why do you care? This reminds me of those Fashion Fever sets that have like really cute furniture in them. I know this is a lot smaller, but look how cool this is. So you get a little kitten which is so cute. You get this rug, I think it's a rug, or maybe a blanket, because this is like a little lounge set. You get a lap desk, which is super cool. So it's like a sitting lap desk, but you could probably use it on a couch too if you wanted to. You get some glasses, a little cup, and this really cute sitting pillow. And it's not a plush pillow, it's a like plastic pillow, which makes sense for this. Normally, when they do plastic pillows, if it's not a super elaborate design, I'm like, really but in this case because it's a sitting pillow like the, I don't have any but they're like the ones that you use for like sitting up on the pillow it makes sense that they would do plastic for this one but I just find this so cute so it, I say this all the time but you might not realize it because of how my doll room is but one of my favorite things about dolls is actually the furniture and accessories and setting up little sets for them it's just that I don't have space or time to be able to do it which sucks um but Hopefully someday I can, and maybe you'll see this make a cameo if it ends up in a video. Um, but I love doing little setups and stuff, and accessory sets like this are indispensable. 
I remember like Liv used to do little accessory sets that were super fun. Like there was a barbecue one I remember and I bought them up when they were out. Like I thought they were so cool. And this is just such a cool little set. I don't know. And it would work for a lot of different dolls. I suspect it wouldn't work very well for some because of the um the lap desk. Like I don't know if Rainbow High would be able to fit their size under there, but maybe. Maybe. Anyway, my point is this is super cute. It was a really good price. I love it. There's other accessory packs on Entertainment Earth, but I think the Barbie collectors have gotten the memo that these don't seem to exist very readily anywhere else. So I'm sure they're available other places, but I just haven't seen it. Uh, so they tend to sell out pretty quickly, but they're super cool. There's also furniture sets that are really neat. Like Entertainment Earth has some cool Barbie stuff. If you're a casual Barbie fan, like I'm a, I would consider myself a pretty big Barbie fan, but um, pretty with the modern ones, I'm a pretty casual Barbie fan because there's just a lot of filler. Like there's just a lot that I don't care about going on, but um going through on entertainment earth i find a lot of new stuff new new to me like maybe it's not brand new but like stuff that i don't really get the memo on from anywhere else so super cool super cute love it Alrighty, the last product in this video that i wanted to share with you guys i like to pick out some like oddball stuff sometimes so things that maybe i wouldn't necessarily pick out normally but i thought were interesting so because i did that with i, I bought this pin of tiana because i love tiana and it it was a paper doll pin set so the idea was that there was a pin that was magnetic and there were dresses that you could put on her like a paper doll i love it it's so cool it's on my pin board next to my desk i love changing out her dress all the time i love that thing i actually ordered more but they're on pre-order so coming soon <laughs> i will be reviewing those soon i really like those um but anyway so this time i went with more magnets these are the super mario bros collector's edition magnets Funny enough, there was another site, maybe it was Entertainment Earth, I don't remember, but like almost 10 years ago, 2014, 2015, that had something very similar to this that I wanted to order for Brett back then, but it was, I was, I was like 15, I was collecting Monster High, I didn't like have a whole lot of money after trying to buy Monster High dolls, you know, so uh, unfortunately I had missed out on these and I thought they were super cool, so I was so excited to see that Entertainment Earth had them. And they have some really cool video game merchandise, actually, like, um, they have Sonic the Hedgehog stuff. Just the stuff that I've checked. They have some neat Pokemon stuff. They get a lot of Loungefly stuff, too, that's really cool. So you'll see some brands that go to Loungefly, like My Little Pony, Care Bear, stuff like that. Um, but anyway, the idea of these is that you get to make your own little Mario level. Like, in Mario 1, you can see what it looks like after. And it's just very cute. Does it not have a flagpole? The level never ends. <laughs> but there's 80 magnets in here this was 9.99 i thought it was super super cute so potentially expect a short on this but i just wanted to put it on your radar in case it's something you would be interested in or something someone you know would be interested in and there's a minimum amount you have to spend to get free shipping sometimes so sometimes a two dollar product or a ten dollar product can help push you over the edge for that so just letting you know um but yeah so that is my entertainment earth haul for today. I apologize if I wasn't super excited sounding about some of this stuff. Um, I am very excited about all of it, but this is now the second time I have showed it on camera and talked about it. But um, I love working with Entertainment Earth. I really appreciate that they um, offer me credit to be able to pick stuff out to share with you guys. It's super fun. It allows me to show off things that I wouldn't normally be able to show off and um, also allows me cool opportunities to get their awesome exclusives. And Entertainment Earth, it, so these products were free. Some of them were bought with affiliate credit that I've earned through um, you guys shopping my link, which I'm very grateful for. Thank you. Um, some of it was bought with that. I, this doll was. Um, but the other stuff was just like free. And I really appreciate that. Um, they have a lot of really cool stuff too that uh, is currently up for pre-order. So I don't know if it's going to sell out. It's hard to say. Um, but if you guys are interested in them, they have these really, really pretty Cinderella and Tiana dolls that I pre-ordered um using my affiliate credit so i'm super excited about these two and i just wanted to let you guys know about those in case something happens and they sell out and they they're like really really beautiful dolls so i i pre-ordered them so i was like i'm ready <laughs> um but yeah that's it for this video huge thank you to entertainment earth for the free products and if you guys are interested in anything here all the links will be in the description of this video so that you guys can check it out too so thank you guys so so much for watching see you guys next time bye